Hey folks, this is Jay here from Chandler, Arizona. This week in our Future of Work segment, let's double click on gig work and gig economy. Uh, last time for this particular topic, we discussed what is it and why is it, uh, uh, why is it, uh, uh, why is it looking attractive to some workers over others, and is it really attractive? Uh, we saw it is basically gig workers are workers who are doing something as a side hustle or apart from their permanent job or doing some freelancing without any permanent job and. Uh, yeah, there is only a very small segment which is happy about it. A lot, a bigger segment is not that thrilled about it. Uh, the key reason for them not being thrilled is because they don't, the, the gig workers or gig economy uh, participants do not get some of the most basic human needs like healthcare, uh, uh, you know, some of their uh, clean food requirements, convenient housing, transportation, childcare, and things like that. So, so it is not, the grass is not that green for these workers. For some workers who have that kind of a skill set, yes, the freelancing or the side hustle nature of it gives that those individuals a particular amount of flexibility or almost like lifestyle working um, a method, which is attractive. But if you look at the law of averages and averages, not everybody is thrilled about it. And a lot, a very large contingent of it, more than 60% would actually prefer a permanent job, which would give them the healthcare, uh, you know, the the stable income for getting a good house and childcare and so on and so forth. The reason though this this segment is coming up of freelancers or side hustlers or gig economy workers is because of a few things. Uh, the the first big, big factor is right, uh, you know, I was gonna say ride sharing, but uh, a dual platform apps, right? Like ride sharing economies or food delivery platforms where not only this platform is that has customers who are receiving the service of food or rides, but there are also uh, contractors, the gig economy workers who are the other side of the platform who is getting some advantage as well. So that's number one. Number two is with post during pandemic and post pandemic, the, the technology uh, uh, which, uh, which has uh, uh, thrived to help employees work together, the online platforms like Zoom, Teams, Slack, you name it, uh, are, have thrived and they have uh, matured a lot. Number three is 5G technology is coming in every country and it is also helping uh, collab people collaborate with each other effectively, even on a data card, even if you don't have a Wi-Fi network. Still, uh, many people, uh, you know, uh, who are still not fully in office can actually collaborate. The other key reason why uh, gig economy is on an upswing is that uh, there were a lot of unwanted layoffs during the pandemic. These people are still not able to find stable jobs. On top of it, there is a set of people who are not able to make ends meet in their meager salaries, you know, if they are working in McDonald's or uh, retail because the inflation has gone up, but their salaries has not gone up proportionately. So they need some extra income. So they go, uh, get into the gig economy to make some extra money. Uh, there are uh, workforce, uh, uh, there, are, there are jobs like, you know, social media management or certain very specialized job, which is not full-time, which is part-time, uh, uh, especially in small small businesses and startups who also need certain extra income to get through uh, get through their day to day. 
still uh, this is as i said before this is not the preferred job there are uh, there are lots and lots of people who want a permanent job and they are not doing gig economy jobs because they want to but they are actually uh, they are actually uh, being forced to so to make a certain extra income last but not least uh, what does this mean for the employers uh, for uh, the employers should be very interested in in this because because they, they are still competing for the highest talent. So for employers, it is super important for them to understand what the needs of job flexibility and work flexibility and location flexibility is for their particular needs of roles. And depending on that, they need to invest in tools and technologies so that they can give that as a feature to work in that company so that these people don't turn to gig economies and so on and so forth. But once again, a lot of people are into gig economies due to necessity and not as an interest. There is a very small margin who is doing it because they can. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And I would be more than happy to collaborate on YouTube as well. Thank you.